Hey, this is Kalila. And as a person who played Gwendolyn Jones in the 2013 uh, DC Black Theater Festival in a song for Coretta and a person who has also studied Dr. King up in Boston and have been to Boston University and have read his handwritten notes and have sat in the places Dr. King has sat all throughout Boston and looked at all the people who Dr. King has, has studied. I'm a huge fan of both Coretta and Dr. King, right? And so that unveiling of the statue today, um, the embrace in Boston Common is um, was amazing and I'm so sad that I could not be there. One thing that I did wanna point out though is, is how awesome uh, Coretta is, right? Um, that I don't think she was mentioned or uplifted enough. And, and part of that is that um, Coretta Scott King, um, she came to Boston on her own, right? So Dr. King and Coretta Scott King actually met in Boston. They were single when they first ended up in Boston. Coretta Scott King uh, was a professional singer. She studied at the uh, uh, at the New England Conservatory. She um, uh, uh, she was this amazingly trained singer, professional singer um, that made her own money and could hold her own and did not need Dr. King, right? So I know a lot of that statue was about love and the embrace, but let's be clear. Coretta did not need Dr. King, right? If anything, Dr. King needed Coretta, even though, right, the FBI wants to discredit him by pointing out, you know, his infidelities, right? So uh, during the civil rights movement, you know, um, uh, Hoover set up uh, Woodbug Dr. King's uh, hotel room. Um, the point was to... Uh, see if to listen in on his conversations with communists with malcolm x with you know other people who the fbi didn't like also dr king right remember they shot him okay but what they saw but, but what they also caught was um the amount of women that were also involved in the civil rights movement right now we don't necessarily know if you know these stories of uh i guess him sleeping with a bunch of women are true they they might be but my point is is that don't be distracted some of that you know the only person who should really care is Coretta. And if Coretta wanted to leave Dr. King, she would have, because she could have, because she also had her own career. She was college educated. She came to Boston and she, uh, you know, was a member of the New England Conservatory. And so, uh, you know, and she was so amazing that even after Dr. King died, it is because of her that we recognize Dr. King Day. Right. So if she thought he was trifling, she would have not gotten, you know, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Day recognized. Right. So don't let these people, you know, confuse you. Like, don't let them uh, steal your joy about celebrating Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. Um, you know, people are people. Right. And nobody's perfect. And only thing I'm saying is that if, you know, Miss Coretta had grace for Dr. King and, you know, whatever infidelities the FBI uncovered then who are we to discredit Coretta's work? Because it is because of Coretta that Dr. King is remembered. Not because of Dr. King, it's, it's all because of Coretta. All credit goes to her. And that's why there, you know, that's why there were plays, there was art written about Miss Coretta because of her um, ability to be so amazing, right? That's why Nina Simone and Toni Morrison and all these other people showed up to support Coretta, right? That's why, you know, all these members of the Harlem Renaissance, Gwendolyn Brooks, all these people showed up to support Coretta because of how amazing she is, not just because she was the wife of Dr. King, but because she herself was an artist, right? An accomplished artist that, um, you know, uh, again, was able to continue the legacy and continue to raise her beautiful children, even though Dr. King was dead, right? And that's because she was also college educated and was a force in her own right, apart from Dr. King, okay? So don't let these people confuse you, y'all. Celebrate, right? Okay? Have a great Martin Luther King Day weekend. Bye.